I'm from Bangalore. My name is Shoeb. Uh, I've been rescuing snakes for the past 17 years in Bangalore. I've been handling snakes since I was a 10 year old kid. Um, <clears throat> the fascination for snakes came to me from my mum. Uh, as, as children, we used to have a lot of snake charmers who used to come with uh, snakes in the box playing their flute and mum used to always uh, call them and uh, you know, show us how beautiful the snake is and how the cobra hoods. Even to date when I rescue a snake, my mum almost always wants to see how a cobra hoods. And she always used to tell me how the different colors are hidden in a cobra's hood and that's what fascinated me. And one day when I had a little bit of money, I walked up to a snake charmer lady and I said, I want to touch a snake. She just put the snake in my neck. I felt it and the first touch, that was it. It was, a, it was love at first touch for me with snakes. Well, everyone knows why snakes are useful because they help us with rodent control. They are the best, best control we could ever have uh, without using chemicals or without causing more uh, harm to the nature. Uh, why are snakes important? See, there are so many other animals which prey on uh, rats and other vermin. Now, let's take rats for an example, yeah? We have uh, cats, we have owls, we have... Sometimes dogs get bandicoots and stuff, but none of these animals are capable enough of going inside a hole and getting those rats. And also, as per the previous calculations, uh, what, what is said is out of the complete agricultural product that comes out in India, about 30% goes out for rats and only 70% comes to us. In case we eradicate snakes, sooner or later, human race is going to die. We will not have food enough for us. The biggest problem or obstacle when it comes to rescues are human beings because they don't understand uh, when and how it is possible for us to rescue a snake. The moment someone sees a snake, regardless of how big or small it is, the biggest problem people come out with or the most emotional uh, thing people come out, is, uh, come out with is this, that they have children around. I would say when humans are everywhere, where is their place for them? And the more and more we get towards forests, their places are sh shrinking. And we ourselves are giving birth to, uh, you know, more rats in our city because what we do with our waste, we remove it from our house, it's thrown outside, our house is clean. We don't care about what's happening outside. In this way, there are more rats coming in. There are more rats breeding and to control them, snakes are automatically breeding. But yeah, the biggest problem is human beings who don't really understand how to deal with the situations. They keep calling us a hundred times before we reach the situation or the place. Sometimes, uh, you know, someone has called me about 15 times in a span of five to 10 minutes by the time I've reached there. Of course, I understand they are scared, but they need to understand that, you know, we are humans, not God to just, you know, appear there and help them out of the situation. So I used to work with IT companies before, but over time I realized that that's not my calling and uh, you know this this is a gifted talent that I have I've, I've not had a mentor for rescuing snakes I've not had a mentor to uh, handle a snake I've learned uh, over years by my own experience and I understand that they are gentle beings and you need to be gentle with them if you're kind enough with them, you're not going to face any problems. This is what I've understood. So, yeah, I don't really get paid uh, for rescues, but there are people who offer whatever they feel like for fuel and stuff. But sometimes when we do come across injured uh, snakes, for an example, we go to a construction layout where you know, they're using uh, machines like JCBs and stuff. I shamelessly ask them, if you don't mind, please donate some so we can help this uh, animal with the medical aid that it needs. Because we only have NGOs in Bangalore who uh, help with uh, injured wildlife. But yeah, we don't, we don't really get paid for doing this. I used to work with IT, as I said, uh, but that was not my calling. My passion for wildlife, my passion for these creatures who don't have anyone for them, is bigger which is why I quit IT companies and I decided to uh, go back and you know use my talent of rescuing wild animals and I do it to the best of my capabilities. Well my mornings generally start with taking care of my own pets and then somebody calls me for a rescue sometimes I have time to have breakfast or not I just rushed out to the place uh, I get about seven to eight calls these days. There were times where I used to have about 16, 17 calls in a day, but due to massive urbanization of Bangalore, we are losing a lot of uh, green cover, losing a lot of habitat for snakes. So we have reduced, the number of calls that I used to get has re reduced a lot, but yes, I still get about seven to eight calls in a day. And it's always awesome running between you know traffic to make sure that I reach the place on time 
uh, and rescue these uh, wild animals. Sometimes it's not only snakes, we have injured birds that fall off, that get stuck in the you know threads which are used for flying kites and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's always fun. It's sad to see that so much wildlife is going through a lot of uh, hardship because of the urbanization. But yeah, there's someone to do what is needed and I'm happy that I'm the chosen one for it. My technique for rescuing snakes has always been wear proper boots, uh, make sure that you have a hook, make sure you have a good bagger and a clean bag. Uh, always, always have a clean bag. Never reuse the bag because there are mites or some infections which could lead from one snake to the other and I don't want to be responsible for doing that. So always use a, uh, use a bag. Never use tools, like, you know, plastic jars and stuff because there have been cases where people have, you know, pushed a snake into a plastic bottle and then kept it in a hot place and the bottle has overheated and the snake has died in it. I've heard about such cases and I would never want to, uh, I would never promote such a thing in my life. Uh, in Bangalore, the species that I rescue the most is uh, our spectacle cobras. After that, it would be rat snakes and then Russell vipers. Um, these are the three most important ones. Other than that, we have our water snake, which is checkered keelback, uh, bitey bitey fellas. And um, yeah, but these four uh, <clears throat> are the maximum rescues. Others we find very less, like wolf snakes, crates, they're all seasonal. Uh, trinkets, all of these are seasonal, sometimes we get, sometimes we don't. In my 17 years of uh, uh, rescue career, I would say I have rescued close to 7,000 snakes, but I have a proper record of about 3,000. The other 4,000 I've done it when I used to work for IT companies, so I didn't, I used to rush out from the office giving some pretext and thankfully I've had a very good manager when I used to work with HP and stuff. I had very good managers who used to understand how important my passion was and they let me, gave me time to go out and do my job and come back and finish my work. So I had extended hours to finish my work but then they, I still got a chance to go and do it. But during those days I never kept a record as such. But so on records I would say about 3,000, off record I would say about 7,000 snakes for now. I've never been uh, bitten by a venomous snake mainly because I'm extra careful when I'm handling a venomous snake and it is very important for a rescuer to deal with a venomous snake in that manner because anytime there's an accident it's never the rescuer who's blamed it's always the snake people all you know when you read newspapers it'll always say oh this person used to rescue snakes his passion was to rescue snakes but you know it's that snake which bit him but they never say that it was his mistake which got him bit, which brought him to his uh, grave. Mm. So yeah, when I'm rescuing uh, venomous snakes, I'm extra careful. But with non-venomous snakes, I'm careful not to let them come to my face. Otherwise, once in a while, they bite my hand or my leg anywhere else, it's still okay. The biggest problem in Bangalore is the traffic and then the people. Some, uh, a small example of one rescue I'd like to uh, mention, there was a, someone who called me uh, from a crowd, he said there's a snake which is in between the road and there are people around it. People had surrounded it, about 100 people. Which direction will the snake go? And it took me about five minutes to get through that crowd to rescue that snake which was already bleeding because another vehicle had run over its tail. Thankfully the snake survived that injury a little part of the tail had to be amputated, but the snake did well and it was released back in the wild. But yes, it's always us humans who are creating a problem, unfortunately. Well, my family is very supportive. Uh, my mom has always supported me with uh, my rescues. My sisters, uh, they feel very proud about what I do. Um, they, uh, my father was a little, uh, you know, he was like, oh my God, I have, it's, he, you know, I'm, I'm, my only, I'm the only son for the family and my father was a little skeptical that if something happens to my son, I have no one, which is a fair thought for any father to have. Uh, but there was this situation where I went and gave a snake awareness program in a college and then they uh, gave me a small memento, which was our Ashoka pillar. And when I brought it home, I left it. The next day my father saw it and he was overwhelmed. He walked up to me and he said, looks like you're doing an amazing job. Looks like you know what you're doing. Just be careful, but I support you for whatever you do. I, I salute you for whatever you do. Just be careful because you're my only son. So yes, I have 100% support from my family on this. My plans for the future is rescue as many uh, animals as I can, uh, be it wildlife or domestic, it doesn't matter. Every life is important on this earth. Uh, <laughs> on a funny note, I would say it's only human life which is not that important because all that we know is to ruin what we have. See, there's a small thing that I would like to say when it comes to conservation. We humans learned everything from animals. The only thing we didn't learn is how to conserve. 
So I wish people can change in that way and it will be a better place for everyone. But yes, my future plans would be to just rescue as many as I can. I do not want to, you know, get an award or any such thing for doing what I do because this is my passion. But yes, I would just want to continue rescuing for, for the last minute that I can even stand up. So my message to the world is this, that, uh, you know, they, everyone says live and let live, but not everyone follows that. Simple example, when you go on and look for a new house, you always want something green, some fresh air and everything around. So people are moving closer to the forest, but the moment they encounter a snake, the first thought of theirs is, oh my God, this is going to kill me and they kill it off without even knowing what species it is. The saddest part that I uh, uh, see here in India specifically is we have so many snakes, we have so many species, we, we, are, we are blessed with so many species and uh, you know, the sad part is this, that our wildlife act being the best in the world is not implemented in the right way and herpetology is a subject which is specific for reptiles, for snakes, unfortunately we don't have it. I wish that comes into place. I wish we understand snakes better. And when you say live and let live, mean that, do it so that others can live and it's not only you. That's, that's the only thing I would really want to tell people. People can find my work on Instagram. Uh, it's called Forest Friend with the number five. It's one word and YouTube channel is Forest Friends Snake Rescues. You can see how I do my rescues uh, and one thing I would really urge everyone to do is when a rescue, when you call a rescuer, there are a few ethical ways to rescue a snake. Even if he is using a plastic bottle, fine, maybe he doesn't have access to a bag or any such thing. But there are times where people use petroleum uh, products like petrol, kerosene and their point is to get the snake out. Please do not use such products such as phenyl or even using hit and stuff like that on snakes it's not the right thing to do before you do something like that to an animal think about yourself being there if you have to be extracted from somewhere would you like it if someone's throwing petrol or kerosene on you and forcing you out of it there are other methods most important method is patience have patience with wildlife or anything you will achieve what you want so see if you can get that in you nothing else matters hi we are Zuzana and Matei from living zoology Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos. Or if you want to support us even more, you can become a member of our YouTube channel. You can also buy our merchandise. Link to the store is in the description under the video. Thank you. Thank you.